Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter two still and talking about test management. In order to continue ahead, we are moving into the next topic called as 2.6, defining and using the test matrix. This topic is also going to be a little longer as it requires a detailed understanding of various matrices which a test manager can make use of in order to monitor and control the overall test process. So today this is the part one of this particular tutorial. We will be continuing ahead with multiple other tutorials to cover this topic. Now, of course, a basic introduction is must when you talk about the test matrix, uh, which you have covered in foundation already and being aware that matrix are certain calculations or basically a formulae, which basically calculates any particular activity which you perform as a part of the entire software or entire software development process. And uh, not only that, of course, when it comes to test specific activities and test uh, specific uh, operations, there are certain test matrices which are very important and very helpful to help the test manager determine that what kind of progress do you have and what kind of deviations has, are taking place and how to implement the control actions at necessary points within the entire test process. So a management glitch says that what gets measured gets done. In addition, what does not get measured does not get done. Now, of course, because what does not get measured is easy to ignore because you don't really have any statistics or any kind of measurements about it. And if in case you are not having any kind of inputs on that, you basically cannot plan for any activities or you really don't know what to do in that case. Therefore, it is important that the proper set of metrics must be established for any endeavor and including testing. So test manager uh, has a very vital role during the test planning to select the set of matrices which would be helpful for the entire test process to measure the progress and at the same time uh, determine any necessary control action. So matrices really plays a very important and uh, a critical role in the overall process. But uh, uh, what type of matrices do we have? Is that like we just have any kind of formula which can measure anything? No, we, we have just categorized them into four different categories. So testing matrices can be classified as belonging to one or more of the following categories. That means at any point of time, if you pick up a matrix, this matrix can fall under multiple categories at any point of time. So it's not that, you know, there are different categories which are specific to, you know, certain matrices. A particular matrix can be related to multiple of these categories or one of them as well. So we basically classify them majorly into four categories. That is project matrix, which measures the progress towards the established project exit criteria, such as percentage of test case executed, pass or fail, which measures in terms of that, how well you are progressing with your overall project in order to meet the goal of the project and release a particular product. When it comes to the product matrix, uh, which measures some attribute of the product specifically, such as the extent to which it has been tested, or the defect density. So these are completely specific to the product side and we do have matrices to help us uh, you know, track that as well. Process metrics which are, measure, which are helpful for measuring the capability of testing or development process such as percentage of defect detected by testing. So how many defects did you, were you able to identify which were leaked from a particular you know, previous phase or so on so that these are called as the process matrix and finally something called as people matrix which measures the capability of individuals or group of people such as the implementation of test cases within a given schedule the effort like what kind of manpower do you have what kind of resources do you have and are we taking longer in order to prepare the test cases rather than executing them so you know people matrices will be very helpful for you to ramp up your team or upgrade your team uh, skill set and uh, let them know that things are there which you need to improvise from time to time so we have these four major categories and following uh, this tutorial in next tutorials you will be understanding more about different matrices with example to understand that how exactly these can be put into various categories any given matrix may belong into two or three or even four of all these categories for example a trend chart showing the daily arrival rate of defects can be associated with the exit criterion 
zero defect, uh, zero new defect found for one week, uh, for example, and uh, the quality of the product that is testing cannot locate further defects in it, and the capability of the test process that is testing finds a larger number of defects early in the execution period. Now, if you see that, these are some of the examples that is not just specific to a particular type or particular category. I know each one of them, zero new defect found or for one week. Now, this can be a part of the process or can be associated with a particular you know project aspect as well so there are there are so many matrices which can be sharing the categories and uh, there are certain matrices which are specific for a particular reason further to add to today's tutorial we are talking about understanding the life cycle or basically the journey of a matrix and understanding that how exactly the test manager takes care of it so using matrix enables a tester to report results in a cost consistent way and enables coherent tracking of progress over the time the test managers are frequently required to present matrix at various meetings which may be attended by multiple level of stakeholders ranging from technical staff to the executive management as well now of course now you see that how exactly your matrices are going to assist you because you are considering or collecting certain statistics which you are going to share with a lot of people around you or within your project and uh, this data can mean a lot to them in order to assist them to know how many defects we are finding which could have been found during development or design or which were introduced during these phases and uh, there are so many you know executive level members uh, from the management who are sitting in your presentation talking uh, from the point of release scope and so on so if these matrices are not presented well could be another factor that the management uh, may not get the right input or right values what they expect to have in order to make necessary decisions so finally you know what we have to say here is the matrices are so crucial that if you present it well you have very good decisions if you don't present it well probably would lead into something else like you know maybe failure of the project as well so that's where the test manager has a great responsibility in order to determine what set of matrices will be used uh, from different category from different parameters and uh, how we will be uh, you know evaluating them what frequency of uh, you know evaluation will be used and that is how often you will measure this matrix and uh, what kind of parameters will be imported at what point of time during the life cycle so all these factors will be considered by the test manager in order to uh, introduce uh, you know these matrices throughout the life cycle also, because uh, matrices are sometimes used for determining the overall success of a project as well, great care should be taken when determining what to track, how often to report it, and the method to be used to present the information. In particular, a test manager must consider the following. And now, oh, what are that? Now, of course, you're starting with the definition of matrix. The, there's just a, just a kind of a process when you make use of matrices, which starts with uh, number one, defining the matrix is important thing. That is a limited set of useful matrix should be defined. So defining basically uh, gets going with the understanding that matrices should be defined based on the specific objective. That wh why do you need it? For what reason are you looking for a tracking object or tracking option? And uh, once you have identified that, then you go for the set of matrices which will be helpful. So these are specific objectives for a particular project, process, product or anything else. Now, matrices should be defined for balance as a single matrix may give a misleading impression. So it's just not that one particular uh, matrix should be selected. You may have collection of matrices for one particular item or to derive certain outcomes because one matrix may give you unbalanced output like from one particular segment. And then uh, you must consider from a lot of the things from the different side. For example, if I'm talking about uh, measuring the uh, you know progress on the test execution, then number of test cases have passed is one of the metric. And uh, that's not alone enough to determine that how you are progressing well with your execution. You can talk about the number of test cases failed in that number of critical defects identified, uh, turnaround time of fixing a defect. So, you know, you collect multiple matrices to put together in order to show your effective progress uh, on the test execution. 
Similarly, the next one is tracking of matrices. That means just not selecting good set of matrices will help you. Uh, you need to keep an eye on that and keep tracking these uh, matrices from time to time and collect those necessary informations and derive an outcome that if these matrices are telling me these values, then what is the outcome? Is that we are following the schedule? Is that we are on track? Or is that like we are getting misleaded or misguided? A control action or corrective measure is required to be back on the schedule. Because if you ignore these outcomes, uh, probably you, know, you will have a lot of you know unwanted, unforeseen situations. So you don't want to handle that, right? So you try to make sure that you have got all things in your eye and you have a good control over that. The third thing to consider is reporting of the matrices. Though we have defined something, we are tracking it from time to time and collecting necessary data from with help of these matrices. But when it comes to reporting, it really becomes very important because not all the people can really understand your matrices. So reporting, uh, the objective uh, is to provide an immediate understanding of the information. So you you just don't show them like the skeleton of your matrix which you use. Rather, you turn them into a presentable form or put it in a graphical representation and show them that this is what we are trying to showcase to all of you. So uh, the presentations may show a snapshot of a matrix at a certain time or show the evolution of a matrix like cumulative outcomes which is a progress of multiple uh, days or multiple weeks or multiple months and so on. Of course, another important thing is validity of matrix. A test manager must also verify the information that is being reported, whether it is valid or not, because not every matrix is evaluated by the test manager alone. So test manager may have several other activities to take care of. So test manager will select the matrices, deploy the matrices, but you know, timely evaluation of matrices can be given uh, to the test analyst or senior test engineers of your organization and they collect the information and send it back to you in order to evaluate it. Now, of course, uh, sometimes you may get invalid information or invalid data about the evaluation of these matrices. So validating that, verifying all this uh, collection of data is equally important because if in case you have wrong data, you have wrong presumptions or assumptions about the execution process or any other activity which you perform throughout the testing life cycle. So yeah, that's a very, very important thing because it may misguide you with miscommunication within the matrices as well. So matrices are very crucial. And make sure that being a test manager, you consider all these factors in order to make effective use of the uh, test matrices within the project. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. We'll be getting back to you with other set of uh, tutorials on this. So stay tuned for that. And uh, should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.